Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. My name is Dr. Saima Mushtaq and our today's topic of emergency medicine is anaphylaxis management. The different topics which we will discuss in our today's lecture is first we will go over some anatomic essentials and in this we will discuss what is anaphylaxis, how the anaphylactic reaction occurs and what's the difference between anaphylactic reaction and anaphylactoid reaction. So all that we will discuss in our first outline which is anatomic essentials. Next, we will go over some red flags which are the indicators or we can say the warning signs which uh, makes the uh, physician alert that uh, or the patient alert that this might be the anaphylactic reaction or allergic reaction. So we will go over some important red flags. Next, we will talk about some associated symptoms like uh, angioedema, uh, bronchospasm, and some, these associated symptoms which are associated with anaphylaxis and how the patient with these associated symptoms uh, uh, will be uh, presenting. So, angioedema, we will talk about the uh, characteristics of angioedema then we will talk about the bronchospasm also that is also another associated symptoms then we will talk about findings in the head and neck uh, and in the heart all these we will find talk in the associated symptoms Next, we will discuss the physical examination of the patient with the anaphylaxis. What will be the findings in the, uh, what will be the vital signs and what's the uh, finding in the neck, in the uh, 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 lungs in the neurological system in the heart so all that examinations we will discuss also in our today's topic of anaphylaxis management. Next important, we will talk about the differential diagnosis of anaphylaxis and how we differentiate and what are some tests we can perform to differentiate anaphylaxis from these conditions like uh, hereditary angioedema, then we will discuss about carcinoid syndrome and then pheochromocytoma, then serum sickness, all these are different conditions that needs to be differentiated from anaphylaxis. Some diagnostic tests which needs to be performed for the diagnosis of uh, anaphylaxis like some lab test, x-rays, uh, EKG findings. So we will talk about them also. Next, what will be some general treatment principles for the uh, treatment of anaphylaxis? And we will talk about the dosages of those uh, drugs used for anaphylaxis and what's the difference of the dosages between the adult and the pediatric age group of these drugs used for the anaphylaxis. And then anaphylactic syndrome drug do dosages, we will talk about them also, like uh, albuterol, methyl, prednisolone, we will talk about these drugs also. And at the end, uh, uh, near to the end, we will talk about the disposition of the patient who has anaphylaxis. And very important, usually the disposition depends on the experience, whether they need to be admitted or they need to be follow up, all that we will talk in disposition. 
So all that we will discuss in our today's uh, lecture, anaphylaxis management. And besides this anaphylaxis management, we have other uh, lectures available on the website, which you can go on the website and uh, you can see these lectures also. Thanks for watching Scardia.com.